hello there beautiful people <laughs> welcome to the channel so today it is me and my teddy bear here percival say hi first of all oh i made crochet shorts for him because he was naked Anywho. if you're a k-drama fan out there this video is for you i love k-dramas i've been watching k-dramas since like primary school like the times when they used to show Princess Hours on TV. Yes. On TV. But I used to love Princess Hours so much. And that is how I got into K-Drama. Let me know in the comment section how you got into K-Drama. Why do I have a comb? Anyways. <laughs> so I watched a ton. Like a ton. A lot of K-Drama. And I wanted to share with you guys some of the K-Dramas I've watched. So, without further ado, here are 10 k dramas I think you should watch before 2020 ends. Let's get it. Alright, so number one on my list, Itewo Class. Sorry, I can't pronounce it well. For the rest of this video, if I pronounce something wrongly, I apologize. But number one on the list is Itewo Class, and it stands everybody's favorite Opa, Pak Soju. What? Oh my god. Man is so fun. And so built. <laughs> the whole class basically talks about um, the social disparities between you know the rich and the poor. It talks about family, friendships, loyalty. You know, it talks about forgiveness, revenge, like all those themes are there. And number two is Strong Woman Do Bonsun and Strong Woman or Strong Girl. I don't know, but I love this drama. It is hilarious this is i think the only k-drama that has made me laugh like my mouth is open i'm laughing like what the bleep kind of laughing <laughs> it is really funny i actually recommended it to someone who also loved it so yay apart from it just being like you know a comedy it also has the mystery thriller theme also going on in there so it's basically about this little teeny really cute girl who is strong like just really strong like Superman that can lift everything kind of strong and the whole drama is just amazing Number three on my list is what is wrong with secretary Kim again the leading man in this one is Park So Joon because Why? So this K-drama is actually based off on a webtoon series that is very popular It also has a bit of mystery thriller to it so yeah and it's very enjoyable to watch Number 4 on my list is actually a 2019 K-drama that came out last year but I watched it this year on Netflix and it is Hotel Del Luna Get your tissues ready because it broke me i'm not gonna spoil anything but like without the luna broke me at some point i think if you start watching you pretty well get the idea of how it's going to end so even though you know and you're prepared for it it's still going to break you anyways this one stars iu i don't know if you guys know iu she's an amazing actress and singer it's about a woman iu who is like who runs a hotel a guest house for dead people for like ghosts so the guest house is where ghosts go and stay before they move on to the afterlife whether you're going to heaven or hell that one day i don't know i'm just going to stop here hotel de luna is amazing number five on the list i think is search www i especially love this drama because it's very modern so the series is about search engines like uh let's say google or mozilla or something firefox yeah and how they manipulate keywords in their on their sites 60 percent romance and i'll say 40 percent you know other storyline and the story sort of centers around three women who are ambitious they are fighting for their careers and everything and it's, it's really nice like you will love it like how i love it but i'm going to say that about every k drama in this video so you will love it <laughs> number six on the list is the king eternal monarch and i know most of you know this but for those of you who don't know this series stars the international opera he is the opera of all the operas <laughs> It's Lee Min Ho, like this drama was amazing. On Netflix, it was trending. Like I watched it on Netflix as it came out every week, which was 
can't break it. <laughs> if you're a K drama fan and you watch it every week as it comes out, you know how difficult the movies is. But I did, and this series did not disappoint at all. I mean, take away the fact that it's by Lee Miko. I love that it, it introduces the concept of the parallel worlds. So we have the Kingdom of Korea and we have the Republic of Korea, and those two worlds have uh, they have like double gangers and going on their murders there's love there's mods there's oh. so number seven on the list we have suspicious partner which i just watched recently like a couple of days ago or so and i will confess and admit that i am a new z chang fan the drama talks about a girl that was falsely a lawyer actually that was falsely accused of a murder and there's a whole serial killer vibe but then the serial killer has a reason so you can sort of empathize with the serial killer a bit the acting was great the storyline progressed beautifully and if you love the whole lawyer prosecutor kind of k-drama this is for you number eight on the list is also an international favorite and it is it's okay not to be okay I love this drama because it talks about mental health, which I think is something that is considered almost taboo in some cultures or countries. There's also a bit of romance in this K-drama. The fashion in this K-drama is amazing. Main character Soyeju is a children's book author and uh, she basically takes you on this healing journey of how she overcomes her childhood dramas you see the healing journey that everybody undertakes and this drama is just beautiful it's a 10 out of 10 absolute 10 out of 10 oh so uh at the end of this video i'm going to give you a couple of sites where you can watch k dramas for free number nine on the list is while you were sleeping i also watched it this year on netflix <laughs> the quiet time really said let us watch all netflix k dramas so while you were sleeping stars Susie Bay and Ni Opa. Ijunsuk, everybody's Opa. He's also another international Opa that everybody loves. And this one, I don't even know how to describe this particular series because it's just it has a bit of everything. There's a bit of romance, there's the whole prosecutor, lawyer thingy going on, there's a police guy, there's a reporter. So it talks about three people and they basically have this gift that helps them to sort of foresee a bit of the future but you know the future is about changing there's a bit of the thriller mystery also going on there and it has a bit of the law aspect so uh you won't be disappointed with this drama you should definitely watch it finally on the list number 10 is w two worlds this one also stars lee jong suk and it's based on a web 2 but then if you watch the series, the series is about an author who writes webtoons but then the webtoons, the, uh, they actually have a life. It has the mystery, there's a bit of romance in it. It's amazing. You're going to love it. It's going to keep you on your toes. This is the K-drama that will make you want to watch every episode till you're done. And uh, that is all we have for today. So these are the 10 K-dramas I think you should binge watch before 2020 ends. A list of sites where you can watch most or all of these dramas actually. So, um, first of all, this is like a bonus. You can watch it on Netflix. All these K dramas are available on Netflix for you to watch. The sites where you can watch these K dramas for free are fastdrama.me. I'm going to put it on the screen. And polldrama.com. I don't want to put in the. I didn't want to put the links in the description because of uh, certain youtube issues so let me know if you guys were part of this video you can also recommend some k-dramas for me to watch see you guys in another video bye